Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to share with you this really wonderful site uh, which has a series of articles about AI ethics. So this is being produced by this uh, author and consultant, Leon Furs. Uh, hopefully I have the pronunciation of that name correct. And it started off as this one pretty giant article, but it has now been broken down into nine separate posts. And this is really great if you are wanting to use this for any kind of education purpose. Uh, we note here that actually it was originally written with K through 12, which is a school level, but it's been picked up at tertiary level as well. And in fact, looking through this, if I was working with my team even at work, but just staff in general, and I wanted to have a really nice grounding in AI ethics, so really just starting out with the basics and not getting too fancy, then I think this would be a really excellent source. So if we come down, we can say it is split up into these nine different areas. Uh, so bias and discrimination, environmental concerns, truth and academic integrity, copyright, privacy, datafication, emotion recognition, human labor, and power. So that's a really broad set of topics. They are really nicely, clearly articulated, uh, not too long, and not making really too many assumptions in terms of what your background knowledge might be. So some other AI ethics that I've seen, either they've come from someone from maybe a bit of a philosophy background, and they've gone really deep on the, 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 the kind of philosophical principles and the ethical principles, and I think people can get a little bit lost on that. Alternatively, some just get a little bit too technical. They're starting to talk about specific tools and models. And I think this really bridges the gap really nicely. So we can scroll down, we can see each. He's split up into beginner, intermediate and advanced. Really, that's more, I think, just kind of talking about the order in which you might approach these. I don't think the, the, the level of language or, or technical difficulty changes too much. Uh, but if we click into one... We can see it links up to all of these separate articles. Uh, just really nice and clear, nicely presented. So we can come down, We've got this nice infographic that tracks through the nine different principles as well. And then nice clear discussion, infographics describing. Uh, so with this first one talking about discrimination, uh, how it can come from the data, how it can come from the algorithm, or how it can come from application. Uh, these are all really big, important things, certainly things that have been around for a, a wee while. So some of that image uh, image detection being used in areas like law enforcement, some of the things that have been applied to healthcare where the training sets have really only been on white people and not looking at how we might see biases from people from different ethnic groups. So really nice, clear descriptions. We've got case studies, so predictive policing, great example of the uh, where we've already seen bias over the past few years, and so August 2016. So this is, some of some of these concepts have been around a while, certainly predating things like ChatGPT. But now that AI is just really expanding out into so many different tools and facets of life, when your mum or your older colleagues are, are sitting down and going, "Okay, tell me about this ChatGPT. I want to be able to write with it," it's really showing that that it's it's all over the place now. And so this teaching of ethics really really important. And then really nice when we get down into these bullet points, and if you are a teacher or an educator, uh, or even running training programs, uh, we have these really nice questions here. So we've got good discussion questions, uh, we've got links off to important articles and points. And so if we go back, pretty much similar kind of thing for every single one of these topics. So I came across this on LinkedIn, it's not someone that I know personally, although I do follow on LinkedIn. And was just really, really impressed. I think this is a really amazing resource. Uh, and so very much just wanted to share it with you. Get in there, have a read. If you do get value, then certainly let Leon know. I really like when people are just making this really great content, putting it out, sharing it with people, and you can let them know. Hopefully that will lead to the generation of even more great content. So that's it from me today. I uh, hope this was interesting. Definitely check out this series of articles. I will link them up down below. In the meantime, if you haven't subscribed, hit subscribe. 
I'll be back soon with more videos on AI research stats and random stuff.